Hey there guys, what's up? This is Oli43 and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm showing you some Age of Empires 3. Now for those of you that don't know, this is an RTS which stands for a real time strategy game. And um, yeah, this is my first video so I'm not entirely sure how much you guys have played of this game. So if some of it's confusing to you, I'm sorry. Um, hopefully I'll do my best to explain it but um, I, I really have no idea how much the community knows about this game like I can talk about Call of Duty I can mention a weapon you're gonna know what I'm talking about in this game not entirely sure so yeah I guess we'll see how it goes and if we have problems I'll just amend things in the next video but hey ho so this is Age of Empires obviously and I'm playing a quick skirmish match and I don't really want to explain the units and everything the basic concept is I've got a a, a group of uh, I've got a town centre, I've got some settlers, and I've got to get resources, I've got to build uh, military buildings and um, research buildings, create an army that's powerful enough to destroy the enemy team. So, I hope you guys can kind of work things out if you're not entirely sure, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so, Age of Empires is quite nice in the fact that it uh, records every game for me. Uh, so, as you can see, I'm in Vu view lock <laughs> and which means it's showing me exactly what I was looking at at the time of gameplay uh, if I click off of this I can zoom around and have a look see what's going on uh, fog of war um, this means I can see what the enemy's doing but for this gameplay I'm actually gonna keep that on and um, so I can only see what I could see in the game I, I just prefer it like that it gives you more of an experience from my perspective um, so yeah, it's, it's all it's all good in the hood. So let's play. Let's start playing. Now, I'm by no means a pro, but um, I'm starting to work on my hotkeys and you know just sort of doing things relatively quickly. And um, I was reading up on a really cool tactic, which is called house spamming uh, when you first start up. So what I do is I press dot e dot e dot e dot e dot e, and what that does is it selects a uh, selects a unit a um, settler sorry that's not in work and e is a shortcut for build a house now for every house i build i get two things more population as you can see i'm only allowed 10 um people if you like and um, i also get one extra villager now because i'm in skirmish match or a death match um, i actually start off with a lot of resources so there's no real need to start collecting straight away so what i'm doing is i'm collecting a crap load of i'm building a crap load of houses and then with each villager I get, I'm then going to go tell them do something like collect stone, collect meat, uh, build a mill, or um, start cutting down some trees for wood. You know, so this is, the I don't know, this was a tactic I'm trying out and I actually quite like it. It's actually working quite well in my favour. I'm going to actually play it fast here. Um, so as you can see, I've got an extra unit there and I'm going to tell him to build a mill, I am sure. Um... Now, RTS games are quite weird if you don't know. You can kind of play the game in different speeds. Uh, slow speed is like realistic, so building takes quite a long time. Mining takes a long time. You know, every little thing takes ages. Um, or you can play moderate or fast. Now, it's quite weird. I was playing in moderate, and I can only ever uh, play fast or play it slow. I was actually playing on moderate, so it's kind of hard to describe what I'm doing as I was doing it. Uh, but as you can see, I've built some uh, units here. Uh, I've built a mill so to collect food and I've also just been given an outpost which is like a you know an anti-infantry tower uh, it's pretty self-explanatory there and I've got one person on mine and have I got any people on the trees yet not quite yet so yeah fairly basic setup so far um, I've just got into the second stage and um, as you can see here I'm building two barracks and two stables um, now a barracks is an infantry training facility and stables is a cavalry training facility. Now the reason why I've built two of each is because when you build a unit the most you can build at any one time is five. So you can press shift click which will build five units at any one time. Um, but if I have two I can build ten at one time and then it'll go on to the next ten, then the next ten, the next ten. You'll see it a bit more when I have queues of uh, training uh, happening but yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> yeah having two is a lot easier than uh, having one so I could have had three I really could you know I've got the resources to do it um, the tactic I was going for in this gameplay you know if you play I don't want to say professionally but if you play to a competitive manner um, 
it's good to have a strategy in place already um, before you start playing and my strategy was what I like to call quick army um, so I build a very weak um, but large army as soon as possible and then once I've got an army I'm going to go down there create as much havoc as possible and possibly win the match now this is a high risk tactic and it can either go really well or really badly um, it's quite interesting I'm not going to tell you what happens because I think it's quite exciting to see how it how everything pans out um, but yeah it, it was interesting nonetheless um, so yeah I'm just building more houses right now <laughs> I just sorry I'm not building more houses I'm just finishing up these houses just here um, so yeah it's going quite nicely I've got some more inventory in and basically what is happening right now is I'm building units and I'm building the army as quick as, quick as possible I'm actually going to have to build more um, more houses because there's a 200 unit limit and at the moment I only have 12 houses up uh, sorry 9 so I'm going to have to build some more in a minute just waiting for this barracks to come up and uh, gone into the third stage which is uh, it's pretty nice I can build more units get more upgrades and things like that I was a little bit slow in my buildings I, I was kind of too uh, fixated on uh, my resources which is not a bad thing resources are good and it is good practice to make sure you're doing everything right uh, but in, the, in this instance I was just uh, too fixated there you go so there we go. So each time I get five pikemen. Now pikemen are really good because um, they're really cheap units. So if you are on a not a deathmatch mode, these are really good units to build at the start because they're really cheap and they kind of buy you time more than anything. They're not really a um, a unit that destroys buildings and causes much damage, but they are certainly a time waster. Now the reason why <laughs> I've got time wasters, or I'm building so many of them, as you can see I've got quite a large selection on the way, um, it's because I'm actually going to build some really nice uh, cavalry units that are really powerful, they're going to be my main damage, and um, because I'm British, I don't know if I already said, I get an exclusive unit with a factory which I will be building any second now, um, which is rockets. Now rockets are really good splash damage sort of thing. They're really nice. So yeah, as you can see, I'm just dragging my pikemen and yeah, I'm just waiting for them to load. As you see, I've got some uh, units building here. Um, and actually, I've just hit my 150 uh, units. So I think the next move you're going to see me make is make more houses. Yep. So I'm pressing E, 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 E again. Now just give me some more houses. But yeah, I'm just waiting for my army to build up finish up what I started the first 200 units and then I'm gonna go all out on attack and see if I can cause much damage so yeah I've built a uh, little plantation here and what a plantation does it's like mining but it's uh, I don't know how it works really but it's kind of weird it's like a farm for food but it's for coins so yeah, I got a nice little army working out here let's have a look at it so I got 30 well 30 plus pike men and I got cavalry on the way, so it's actually looking quite nice. It's going to be a nice little first attack. Um, yeah, it's going quite well. Built the extra houses, going to get some more units. And while I attack, I'm probably going to build more units and everything will be pretty cushy. Got a little dog here trying to attack me. And actually, it's really interesting. This was such... Like, I was so surprised at this point. Uh, what's actually happened is the opposing team has gone for the exact same tactic. Um in that he's going to create a fast uh, army, just like I did. He was just faster than me, and he actually managed to get it to my base before I took it at his. And uh, he was, uh, I don't know, five minutes quicker than me. Um, he actually didn't build as many units, so technically, we were at the same time. I just wanted to build a bigger army before attacking. Um, yeah, it, it's no problem. I mean, uh, I've got 41 pikemen there. Uh, plus cavalry, so and I've got more on the way. So actually, I wasn't worried by this attack. It was just, it was just really shocking. I just really wasn't expecting it. I was just like, um, I don't know. I didn't foresee us both playing the same tactic. It really happens. Uh, usually, you have to adapt your strategy, but um, it turns out I've now gone from the instant army sort of thing to now I have to attack with the large, powerful army. Uh, because, you know, 
I, I was lucky. He he put he made his strategy more risky by sending in his troops um, with less army. You can do it quicker with a lesser army, uh, but that's even more high risk but high reward. Or you can just build up your army and make it less risk. Uh, I I prefer to be the less risk end of the spectrum, but uh, yeah. Now what you're going to see me do here in a minute is um, sort my troops into uh, little groups. So you press control 1 for pikemen, control 2 for cavalry, control 3 for my rockets when I eventually build them. And uh, here you go, there's my first rocket. It's very cool. And I'm going to build a quick fort as well. There's my factory. Continually build rockets. Uh, but yeah, you're going to see me do it now. Maybe? No? <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember how I did this. So, Oh yeah, okay. So now I'm just... I'm a little bit scared that he's going to attack me with another army. So I'm just putting out outposts and stuff. Um, I've got my fort here. But yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. I, I'm not worried at this point. I have quite a nice army. Um, but yeah, just finishing up this. How much have we got left? So we've got two more cavalry sections and I've built all the pikemen I want and as you can see we've actually got 210 more than the 200 population that's because I got stuff from my hometown but if you don't understand that I'll explain it another time <laughs> it's not really worth worrying about right now so here we go you missed it there uh, basically at this point I put them into two groups um, pikemen and cavalry and I just, I don't know why, but I wanted to put them in a circular form. So I wanted to send my pikemen down this end and sort of put them in a nice area where I can attack the enemy with my rockets here uh, without the enemy escaping. So the fact I've kind of got them surrounded or not really surrounded. I mean, they could run, but it would be difficult for the, uh, for the AI to sort of keep running without turning around and attacking. Uh, so the rockets just helped out there, a little tactic that didn't really make too much of a difference, but like I said, it's good to practice things over. So yeah, now I'm just mincing these kids up, and they actually bring out these really annoying little units. Uh, they're Spanish, I don't know, little infantry units, but they tear through my pikemen, and I actually believe they've killed all of my pikemen. They killed 40 pikemen in a matter of minutes uh, with those little annoying infantry. <laughs> so yeah, it worked quite well. Now, here is a tactic that in my next game I will show you me solving a problem too. But um, they've put their barracks, their stables, and two artillery foundries, so cannon producing, um, like I have, right at the front. And I've put my houses at the back. Now, this guy has failed. Uh, this is um, not worked out for my opponent because he's put all of his... Um, military stuff towards the front which means these are the first buildings that I'm attacking if these weren't military bases or infantry producing and these were just houses he could have a barracks back here and could be producing units whilst I was destroying houses and um, could have come back with a counter attack he could have possibly come back and started attacking me uh, that would have been quite a neat little move um, but no I destroyed all of most of his, um, you know, infantry producing things. They actually build quite a lot of cannons. You see, they build quite a few of them. Uh, luckily, my rockets are enraged to stop this little group here. But yeah, my, my cavalry have pretty much died now. So yeah, um, let's see what I'm up to right now. Building some more. Oh, I got another rocket. All right, so I'm upgrading my uh, resource getting I'm just I don't know I'm pretty confident I've won the match at this point but it's good practice not to get lazy because if you slip up at that point that's when things get difficult um, but yeah I mean it's pretty simple from here just killing the town center and town centers take ages to destroy it is not easy little tip here always 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 leave back up like there's no question if you don't if you don't leave back up you're in trouble uh, they got they sent up like one cavalry unit. You know, I don't really understand it, but mm, mince meat. Yeah. 
So I've got a hot air balloon here. Um, I'm not going to explain how I got this now. I'll explain it in another video. Uh, but basically it allows me to spy on the other team. And uh, what I was doing here was just checking they didn't have any pockets of enemies waiting for me. Or they were producing sections of armies. And they weren't. Now look at these pikemen tear through my cavalry. Look at it. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> That would have been six if it wasn't for the rockets. Uh, pikemen are like a tenth cheaper than the cavalry. They're like so cheap, but they, <laughs> they mince through cavalry. So pikemen are just such a good unit to have. Uh, definitely. So there we go, guys. Killed the town center and the opposing team resigned. And um, yeah, so that's all from me, Ollie 43 If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And um, just let me know in the comment section below if you want to see more. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.